Hi everybody, it's me, Janice. I'm back with my file folder I'm calling a scrap file. Um, it's an ins it's inspired by oh there I go. Open the camera again. Inspired by Heidi Swap's um, memory file system, I think is what it's called. Anyway, I did not add any more file folders to this. All I did was add pages and I'll show you this is what this video is about is how I added pages. Let me show you where I am so far. So here, um, oh, and the other thing is that I figured out something to do with my washi tape. I don't have washi tape. I have, I guess it's masking tape that I got at Target. It comes in four sets of four colors, color families. So I got all the color families. And um, I've had them and I just haven't been using them. And watching Glitter Girl, I got inspired because she uses it a lot. And I can see why people have gotten addicted to washi tape. So I basically used it here to bind when I'm adding a page or two, kind of mask that binding, that edge. Because right here what was happening was that you could see where the two file folders came together. So I'm going to add another layer because this is quite thick, this book. So it kind of ripped right there. So I'm just going to add another layer. I'm just kind of trying to stick my, oh, see, I just ripped it. Then I ripped it again. But it's okay. The whole point of this little file that I'm making is because I have all of Adrian's little just memorabilia from. I'm going to use a scissor because I want it to be straight down here. Um, I have tons of memorabilia from when he was in preschool. You know, all the little projects, and not all, just some. I only saved some because there was just no way I would be covered. I would just be in a heap of trouble with paper and stuff and things. And just, I couldn't save every single one. Um, no, not going to happen. So, anyway, I found something that I can use my washi tape for. Okay, I added a piece of ribbon. These were two pieces. I had to kind of cut here because the paper, I didn't cut the paper right and it wasn't coming all the way to the bottom. So I just, there's a little gap right there. So I covered it with this ribbon, which is from the, it's coming from the front through the, over the side here. And then I just used ATG to adhere it. And then this one is that little flap from the folder. And I added some embossed, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, then this was, I'm so excited about this, okay. This this year, obviously, I bought, I bought this package of pictures and everything. And came with a calendar, which I never put up. Terrible. So I just had it in this folder, or in an envelope, and I found it, and... I paid for this, so I thought, I'm going to use it somehow. So here's, look how cute. Isn't he so cute? He's still just as cute now. I guess in the picture he was maybe already five. Not sure, no. It was in 2010, so I think he was, or 2009 when they did the photos. It's probably September or something. And then here, I added a page. So this is just a flap. Then I added um, eight and a half by eleven, was it, or a twelve by twelve? I just cut it down to to match and ATG'd it, and then used my washi there again. And then this was an added. This paper right here is a double sided paper that I had in my stash. Not sure who it's by had it and there's the other piece that was left over I just flipped it over and there's the other side and then this is just one of those projects here he was supposed to write his address and draw a picture of his house so that's really cute and then this is like an envelope and his 
little face is the stamp. And then I'm going to use the back of this for more real estate of, you know, to make a page, add photos. I'll probably put some cardstock or pattern paper or something here. This is just the back, and she laminated it, so it's nice. And then there's another page that I added, a little flap. And then this is the back of the of this file folder. Where is it? Of this one. Right? Yeah. So this is this file folder. So see all the stuff I was able to add in between. Okay. So um, I was just covering this with paper and then I realized that I could make another flap here. So I'm going to leave that as a flap and we're going to add this piece of paper right here. And to do that, we need to flip this over this way so that I can draw the line so I know where to trim it. So I thought this little flower detail here is cute with the bee. And I know it's a boy thing, but it's okay. He likes flowers too. My flat my dad was a very manly man and he was in the flower business. So flowers aren't just to girls. Just gonna trace. Oops. Yeah, I've done nothing else. I made breakfast. That's all I did today. In case you're wondering. <laughs> still in my jammies. Adrian Stone is jammies too. We are all just having a mental health day here on New Year's Eve. Gotta love it. I wanted to do my garage, but you know what? The garage mess will still be there tomorrow on New Year's Day. The day is still young. I've got beef cooking in the crock pot. But this project is just, I'm so excited about it because for quite some time now I've been wanting to do this. It's been in my scrap bag. So I thought, well, I'll just work it on it a little bit at a time when I go to Michael's and we have crops there. But I don't get anything done when I go to Michael's because I'm there for others, you know. It's my job, so I can't really be like, hey, people, I'm working on my own project. <laughs> you all just be independent. I can't do that. So, ah, I just dropped my pencil. I need like a little ledge right here to stop things from rolling off. So see, oh, I did not do this. See, I have like a little, that's okay. This is a very free and forgiving type of a project. Now right here, I want to, see I could, I could still, I could add this. This could be another flap for more. See, I love this project. Right there. You can use your paper trimmer if you don't want to get out your scoreboard. I'm just showing you for those of you that are new and just want to. I like to share tips and things in case you you know you're on a budget, which you know most people are, and you don't want to go and buy another thing tool. You can just use your scoreboard. I mean your paper trimmer as a scoring tool. And I'm going to score that. So see, I could add, I could make that. I don't know that I am going to do that. I might. So now I'm going to add the adhesive on the edge. There. School receipts. This, this was a file folder from my filing cabinet when I was cleaning out my office stuff. Oh, 
Um, okay, so I didn't do this in the right place. So again, I'm going to be okay with that. I've got to close. So my dilemma now is do I want that to be a flap or do I want to I think I want to do this. And that's kind of cute with the two, you know, pattern papers. Or we could just get another piece of paper and just, uh... But I think we'll just leave it like that. And then we'll add washi tape to the center. Let's do the blue just to bring in all of this blue here. Cool, huh? Yeah, I'm so happy with this washi tape concept. And I watched somebody else yesterday when I was in the car. <laughs> I found this lady. I was watching YouTube on my phone. And I found a lady. Mm. Crash, crash tummies, craft tummies, something like that. She, um, she's fantastic. She's really entertaining. And so she was showing how to make your own washi tape in a, in a way that really made sense to me. I've watched other videos on how to make your own because I'm a how to make your own kind of person. I love when you can make your own anything. Anything. Even with cooking, I'm not really... I do buy store-bought, you know, pre-made things sometimes, you know, because I do, I do need to save time some, at times, but most of the time I just like to make my own everything, you know. Like my gingerbread house is always homemade. Because I don't, I don't like kits. Because I like to make my own. Everything. So, she showed how to do it. And I'm going to try it. Alright. So, see? So, now we've got all oh, this fun. Now, now, that's probably the limit right there. Because we need to still be able to fold this. And that's about it. That's all we're going to be able to do there. You see, it's already cracking right there. But that's okay. I just am excited that I have a place for everything. So then, here we have a certificate, which I'm very proud of. Adrian, he got the reading award when he was in the threes, and he also got it when he was in fours. And ever since I've been his teacher, I would say I would give him the reading award too. He is a very good reader, and he likes to read, and I'm very proud of that. I'm happy for him that he likes, enjoys reading for pleasure. All right, so <clears throat> now I'm trying to decide where I'm going to put these. So I think I'm going to go here with this. And yeah, we're going to just do that. And again, this adds another page where I can do something on the back. But I'm not going <coughs> to add washi tape yet. <coughs> Excuse me, because I'm going to put some pattern paper on the back. And then I have two others. Two others here. Just thinking about... Putting it. Oops, that's the Spanish class award and the library award. He's very well behaved in the library, so that's why he got that award at his school. My OCP. I'm trying to think this through here. Put some yellow right here. Thing is, 
roses if I I could do them back to back like that that would be good I think that's a good idea yeah let's do that Nice and sturdy too. Yeah, I have a big stack of pictures. I told Robin yesterday that I really want to um, make as many, use up as many of the photos that I have <laughs> already printed. Maybe all of them. She laughed because that means, she said, that means you don't have very many pictures printed if you can do that, but, which is true. I do have a lot of pictures printed, though, and I will not be able to do them all before my printer gets here, which should be um, probably, unfortunately, probably right the same week when I go back to school, which means no more time for all this fun. It's hard to make time, as you know, if you work at a school or work outside of your home. Very difficult to find time. Okay. So there we go. I love it. And then we've got the Spanish word. I am a Spanish speaker, and my son does not speak Spanish fluently. I know. I'm admitting it. It's terrible. Terrible. But he got the Spanish award from Miss Hickle. I miss her so much. So how am I going to do this one? I can't go into there, so... Hmm. Alright, maybe I need to put it elsewhere. And paper there. I could put it here, but I kind of want to make a hole like a big page there, so I'm not going to do that. I could do it here since this one's kind of broken up. Taking me forever. I could put it here since the colors kind of go. I don't know. I think maybe here is where it's going to go. I'm just going to put some pattern paper there, and then I'll I'll put it here. I'm thinking this through too much, overthinking it. Alrighty, I'm going to stop the video and then I'll show you more when I get a little farther along and put some more stuff in here. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!